What's up guys and welcome to another transfer video on the channel. Today on the news we have Chelsea, they finally announced the signing of Timo Werner this summer and in the video, in today's video we're gonna check the details of the deal. Also on the news we have Lionel Messi, he is really really close to sign a contract extension with Barcelona. Talking about Barcelona we have news about Lautaro Martinez deal with Inter and also we have Jude Bellingham the wonder kid from Birmingham City, Manchester United is back in the race to sign the wonder their kid. Check all of these news and much more next in the video guys. Let's try to reach 500 likes in this video so smash that like button, it only takes one second and it is really really important for me and for the channel to grow guys. Let's go, enjoy the video. Ok guys, let's finish this week strong. Borussia Dortmund left back Rafael Guerreiro is the subject of interest from Barcelona according to Don Ballon. The Spanish champions are planning to launch a 30 million euros bid for the 26 year old when the transfer market reopens. Guerreiro has scored 8 goals and laid on 5 assists in 35 appearances for Dortmund this season. Milan are interested in signing Real Madrid striker Luka Jovic according to sports media set. The Rossoneri wants to bring in the Serbian striker on an initial 2 year loan deal with the option to buy for 35 million euros at the end of that period. Jovic has endured a miserable first season in Madrid following his big money move from Eintracht Frankfurt last summer. Inter have demanded Barcelona to pay 85 million euros plus Junior Firpo in exchange for Lautaro Martinez according to reports. The Argentine striker is the Catalan side's top transfer target this summer but they are unwilling to meet Inter's demands. Barca are willing to go as high as 65 million euros but Inter will not lower their price any further. Naby Keita's time at Liverpool could be nearing its end as Jurgen Klopp is ready to offload 6 players in the next transfer window. The Sun claims that Keita, Shaki, Origi, Lovren, Marco Grosic and Adam Valana are all expected to leave at the end of the season. The Reds meanwhile will try to sign Ruben Neves and Adama Traore from Wolverhampton. Leicester City are set to tie Wes Morgan and Christian Fuss down to new contracts, The Telegraph reports. The duo will sign on for another 12 months with Brendan Rodgers' side, while Mendy has signed a short-term deal that will keep him at the Foxes until the end of this season. David Luiz says he wants to stay at Arsenal but that the decision has not yet been made regarding his future. The Brazilian defender had a terrible display in Wednesday defeat to Manchester City and pundits are claiming his time in the Premier League is up. But Luiz says coach Mikel Arteta wants him to remain at the club and that they are waiting on the club to decide what happens. Rennes hopes to fight off interest in Eduardo Camavinga from Real Madrid by tying him down to a new deal, Sport says. The midfielder's current deal still has 2 years left on it, but the league inside hope a bigger deal will convince him to reject an expected offer from Madrid this year. Lionel Messi is expected to re-sign with Barcelona until 2023 according to Mundo Deportivo. The Argentina star could have been playing elsewhere next season but the clause that would have allowed him to leave Camp Nou has now expired. Currently contracted until 2021, it's now expected Lionel Messi will soon sign a new deal that will tie him down to Barcelona until 2023 but allow him to move on sooner should he wants to. Bournemouth have had a short term contract extension rejected by Ryan Fraser as he angles for a move to Everton this summer, reports the Daily Mail. The winger is now set to become a free agent on June 30 and does not want to play again this season to avoid injury. Arsenal and Tottenham have also been previously linked with interest in the 26 year old but he has reportedly told friends he sees the move to Everton as his best bet. Borussia Dortmund are only willing to offer 20 million euros for Birmingham City prodigy Jude Bellingham claims build. The 16 year old has a 35 million euros release clause but Dortmund are hoping to secure a deal for nearly half that fee. Brescia's young star Sandro Tonali is ready to play for a top top club amid strong links to Juventus and Inter said former Intel international Federico Balzaretti. Tonali is highly converted following his exploits for Brescia, the Italian midfielder attracting interest from the likes of Serie A champions Juve, Inter, Man United, Man City and Barcelona. The 20 year old compared to Italian great Andrea Pirlo has been tipped to join either Inter or Juve at the end of the 2019-2020 season. 
Wolverine and striker Raul Jimenez has said that reports linking him to top clubs are very cool, but insists that they are just rumors for now. The Mexico forward has been linked with sites such as Real Madrid, Barcelona, Juventus, Man City, Man United and Liverpool. However, the 29-year-old says that signing for any Europe's top sites would be incredible regardless of which club it is. Kai Havertz will only leave Bayer Leverkusen if he is a guaranteed starter, the Daily Start reports. The 21-year-old German is one of the hottest prospects in the world football and has been linked to various clubs in the Premier League and La Liga. Havertz's lefty price tag is likely to cause issues for buying clubs during the coronavirus pandemic, however, with Leverkusen holding out for bids around 100 million euros. Leicester are keen to hold on to left-back Ben Chilwell amid reported interest from Chelsea and Man City, Sky Sports reports. It is claimed that the Foxes have no need to sell one of their top performances and will turn down offers up to 55 million euros to keep the England international at the club. Monaco right-back Benjamin is on the verge of joining Leipzig, Sport Build reports. The 23-year-old is under contract until 2023 with Monaco but is set to favor a swift return to his home country. Bayern Munich had also been credited with an interest but it is claimed the final details are currently being ironed out ahead of a move to the Red Bull Arena. Andy King has confirmed that he will leave Leicester City when his contract expires at the end of this season. Chelsea have confirmed that they have reached an agreement to sign Timo Werner from Leipzig for 55 million euros. On loan Borussia Dortmund wingback Hakimi has pleased Real Madrid coach Zinedine Zidane with his progress, but the French boss stopped short of stating whether he would be part of Los Blancos squad next season. The Morocco international has been in incredible form at Signal Iduna Park, sparking interest from some of the Europe's biggest clubs. Regardless whether the 21-year-old will be part of Zidane's plans for next term remains to be seen. Oli Solskjaer still does not know whether Angel Gomez will stay at Man United with the teenager's current deal expiring at the end of the month. The 19-year-old has been offered a new contract at Old Trafford, but negotiations have dragged on, with Gomez yet to put pen on paper. Solskjaer though is hopeful he will decide to stay, telling reporters, with Angel he is a top kid we have had at the club for so many years, we have offered him a deal and hopefully he will take that and if not I wish him all the best. From what I understand, it's not too far away, if not, we will wish him all the best. French club Orleans FC have confirmed that they have signed Goujon for the 2020-2021 season. The midfielder started his career in France and signed his first professional contract with the club, AJ, before going out on loan to US Boulogne. He then joined French third-tier side Red Star, but will now be heading to Orleans FC with Goujon signing a one-year contract with the option for a further year. Celta de Vigo have confirmed the signing of forward Nolito on a permanent transfer from Seville in an emergency deal. The move is not without controversy as Celta, who are betting relegation, have been allowed to make the signing by the Spanish Federation due to a long-term injury to their goalkeeper Sergio Alvarez, but could sign one player in any position. Bayern Munich are preparing to extend Philippe Coutinho's loan spell so he can play in their Champions League campaign this August, according to Sky Sports. Coutinho has underwhelmed in the Bundesliga this campaign and Bayern are not interested in making his loan from Barcelona permanent. However, they do, not, they do want to extend his current deal beyond June 30, so he is available when European football returns. The attacking midfielder has recovered from injury and should be available for Bayern's delayed round of 16 second leg clash with Chelsea. The Bayer Leverkusen star has liked a tweet asking Chelsea to announce Havert. A sign of things to come? Let me know down in the comments. Max Cruz terminates his Fenerbahce contract. He is now a free agent and can side with whoever he wants. Manchester United are trying to persuade Inter to extend Alexis Sanchez's loan deal at San Siro, according to Sky Italia. The Nerazzurri are open to retaining the Chilean services for one more season, but do not wish to take up the option to buy him outright. Sanchez has only scored once in 16 games for Inter since joining the club on loan last summer. 
Rome striker Patrick Schick is the subject of interest from Newcastle according to the Daily Mail. The 24-year-old who is currently on loan at Leipzig could be available for a fee within the region of 26 million euros when the transfer market reopens. Newcastle are planning to launch a summer bid for Schick regardless, regardless of whether or not their proposed Saudi back takeover falls through in the coming weeks. Leipzig want to bring in Ben Yedder from Monaco to replace Timo Werner according to Luten Sport. Werner has agreed to join Chelsea at the end of the season and the German club are already on the lookout for the man to fill his boots. Ben Yedder is top of their Leipzig's list of targets but they may face competition from Manchester United for his signature. Fiorentina are considering offering Paris Saint-Germain defender Thiago Silva a contract according to Di Marzio. The Italian outfit are planning to swoop for the Brazilian when his current contract at Paris Saint-Germain expires this summer. Thiago Silva has already confirmed he will leave PSG on a free transfer but Everton are also being tipped to submit an offer for the defender. West Bromwich Albion will have to fork out 22 million euros to sign Diangana from West Ham on a permanent deal, according to Football Insider. The Hammers are also open to extending the 22-year-old's loan stay at West Brom, but only if they successfully avoid relegation from the Premier League. Diangana has contributed with 5 goals and 6 assists to West Bromwich Championship cause this season. We reached the end of the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, like I said in the beginning our goal for today's video is 500 likes so smash that like button, it is really really important for the channel to grow and it only takes one second. Don't forget to leave a comment down below as well about anything that you want, subscribe if you're new, stay safe, I'm Defaults and I'll see you guys in the next video.